Respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, is a highly contagious virus that causes respiratory infections in infants and young children. It is a leading cause of hospitalization in children under the age of 2 and is a major cause of morbidity and mortality in this age group. RSV is also a significant cause of respiratory illness in adults, especially the elderly and those with underlying medical conditions. RSV is a member of the paramyxovirus family and was first identified in the late 1950s. It is spread through droplets that are produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets can be inhaled by others or come into contact with their eyes, mouth, or nose. The virus can also be spread through contact with contaminated surfaces, such as toys or door handles, and then touching one's face. RSV symptoms are similar to those of the common cold, including runny nose, cough, and low-grade fever. However, in some cases, RSV can lead to more severe respiratory illness, such as bronchiolitis or pneumonia. Bronchiolitis is characterized by inflammation and blockage of the small airways in the lungs, leading to wheezing and difficulty breathing. Pneumonia is an infection of the lungs that causes fever, cough with phlegm, and difficulty breathing. Diagnosis of RSV is usually made based on symptoms and a physical examination. However, in some cases, laboratory tests, such as rapid antigen detection tests or polymerase chain reaction PCR, tests, may be used to confirm the diagnosis. There is currently no specific antiviral treatment for RSV, and management is focused on relieving symptoms and supporting the patient. This may include providing supplemental oxygen, administration of bronchodilators to open up the airways, and, in severe cases, hospitalization for respiratory support. Prevention of RSV infection is important, as it is highly contagious and can lead to serious illness, particularly in young children and those with underlying medical conditions. Good hygiene practices, such as frequent handwashing, avoiding close contact with infected individuals, and cleaning and disinfecting frequently touched surfaces, can help reduce the risk of transmission. Vaccination is currently not available for RSV, although research is ongoing in this area. Palavizumab, a monoclonal antibody, is available for prophylaxis in high-risk infants, such as those born prematurely or with certain underlying medical conditions. In conclusion, RSV is a highly contagious virus that causes respiratory infections in infants and young children, as well as adults. It can lead to serious illness, including bronchiolitis and pneumonia, and is a leading cause of hospitalization in young children. Prevention and management of RSV infections are important to reduce the risk of serious illness and hospitalization. Although there is currently no specific treatment for RSV, good hygiene practices and prophylaxis with palavizumab at high-risk individuals can help reduce the risk of infection.